Hello, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials, Chapter 24, Part 1, Static Class, brought to you by Anglo Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about the static class. So if you need to work with the static classes, we need to understand some basic fundamentals. So they are nested class and outer class. So Java programming language allows us to define a class within other class. Such a class is called a nested class. Outer class, the class which encloses the nested class is called a outer class. Okay, now let me show you how to define a nested class and outer class too. So let me erase this thing which is already present. So the class demo, this is a simple class which has a main method. So now if I want to define a nested class inside the class demo, so what I need to do is I need to make use of, okay, class, the inner class name is inner itself. So you can observe here, this is called the outer class and this is called the inner class. Okay, now let me go back to presentation. In Java, if you need to create a static class and that static class should be a nested class. So that's the reason I explained you these two things. So let me read out this sentence in Java. We can't make outer class a static, only nested classes can be static. I hope you understood this. So coming to the next slide. So we have some important facts about the static classes, nested classes here. Let us understand them very clearly. Static nested classes cannot access non-static data members and the methods. Okay. Static nested classes can be accessed by outer class name. Static nested classes can access static data members of outer including the private. So I hope I'm going to explain all these things right now. Before that, let me show you a simple example like Java static nested class example with the instance method. So first, let me, I have already created a static class here. Okay. Now in the outer class, what I'll do is I'll create a public int data is equal to 30. Okay. And in the inner class, what I'll do is I'll just create a method. So public static void print so here so before that this is a simple inner class this is not a static class so if I need to make this in a nested class a static I need to add this static keyword Okay, now this is a static class, static nested class. So now what I'll do is I'll create one method public static so print. So what it's going to print is system dot out. ln data is I'm going to pass that okay can observe here very clearly okay so when I over on this I okay, cannot make a static reference to an on static field so making static now Okay, now what I'll do is, you can observe very clearly, I have a static class and I have a static method inside. So, let me go back here. Static nested classes cannot access non-static data members and methods. So, static nested classes can be accessed by outer class name. So, let me show you very clearly. This is our static class. So, static class can access the things which is present in the outer class, but the thing is, the data, the the variables or the methods whatever which are present inside this outer class should have a keyword static or else we will get an error here so that's the reason okay if you want to access anything from the static class the things which are going to exist they also should be a static okay now what I'll do is now we have a inner class nested class here and we have an outer class here now how do I access the inner class how do I create an object of the inner class it's very simple I can do that with the help of this one the outer class demo dot inner di is equal to new demo dot inner so now when I tell di 
dot okay I can access that print method so if you want to access the methods present in the inner class then you have to navigate through the outer class okay then you have to create an object then you can call the respective method so now when I run the program you will get the output as data is 30 so this is what about the static classes I hope you understood this one so here is the same example but keep in mind the Java static nested classes with instance method okay with instance method in the sense let me go back here um, this is the simple method which I have here so this is the instance method it does not have a static keyword so it's called an instance method so how do I access an instance method I access the instance method by creating a object of the inner class obj so this is how I can create a I can access the instance method suppose let me go back go to the next example Java static nested class example with the static method if you have a static method then don't need to create an object of the inner class directly you can access it so let me show you that also so this is for instance method suppose if I have if I have a static method in my static class how can I access it's very simple demo dot dot inner dot print so you can access it directly if you have a static method inside a static class if you don't have then you have to create an object of the inner class then you have to access this method so this is what about the static class is so let me go back to presentation and let me explain you again so in Java if you want to create a static class okay that static class should be a nested class first okay this is the first rule then what all the static classes can do static nested classes cannot access non static data members and methods it can access only the static static data members and methods static nested classes can be accessed by outer class name so this is static these are the members which are present inside the uh, nested classes so we are accessing with the help of outer class okay that's the meaning of this sentence static nested classes static data mem can access static data members of outer variable including the private so what do you mean by this instead of public if I have the private can the static nested class access it yes it can access it so when I run the program I'll get the same output again yes so that's the meaning of this sentence so finally I hope you understood like what is static class so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Langford Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference to our website we are on LinkedIn too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day